In this video, we will show you how to replace your engine oil on this Lincoln Navigator with a 5.4 liter engine. We're going to start under the hood, but we will also have to make our way under the vehicle to drain the oil. Let's get into it. Now, before you go ahead and start draining the oil, it's important to mention, you're going to want to make sure you have a brand new oil filter and of course, six quarts of 5W20 oil. Let's start right over on the oil cap. We'll open this up give it a quick inspection, and set this aside. Now you can make your way safely underneath the front of the vehicle. Now underneath the vehicle, just behind your front differential, you're going to find the oil pan. Along the passenger side of it is where the drain plug is. You wanna make sure you have a collection bucket under this area so you can recycle all the used oil properly. Use a 16 millimeter wrench to loosen the drain plug. Now we can let this drain into our bucket. Now you can let this drip as long as you want to. It's going to take a long time for all of the oil to make its way out of the oil pan, but typically as long as it's down to a drip and it's not coming out as a stream, continue on by installing your drain plug. You want to make sure that there is a gasket. We'll take this, bottom it out, and then torque it to 12 foot-pounds. Make sure you clean up your mess. Now we can move along to removing our oil filter. Now for the oil filter, if you were to look up along the area next to the front differential, you can see that oil filter. But you also wanna pay attention to the fact that it has an area where the oil is going to drain down. So you wanna make sure you have your collection bucket under that area. Now with that said, I'll reach up inside here with my large oil filter wrench, turn this counterclockwise to remove it. Remove your oil filter. Once the oil filter's off of there, we'll make sure that we wipe down the oil filter base. It's possible that the oil filter gasket could still be in this area. You do not want to double gasket your oil filter. The next thing we'll do is prepare our brand new oil filter. It's a good idea to put a little bit of oil inside the center. You don't need to fill it. Once you've done that, we'll take a gloved finger and take some of that brand new oil and put it right along the gasket. Now at this point, we can mount this to the engine. Get this up in here. Make this as tight as you can by hand, and then turn it just a little bit extra with your oil filter wrench. Double check to make sure it's nice and snug. Now let's use some parts cleaner and clean down the area. Once you've gotten the filter itself, make sure you also wipe down the funnel area that leads down to that drain catch pan. Once you have it cleaned down and there's no oil residue, go ahead and make your way back out from under the vehicle. Now let's make our way back to the engine compartment. Filling the oil will be easiest using a funnel. Add six quarts of 5W20 to the engine. Once you've added all six quarts of 520, remove your funnel and install your oil cap. 
Now we can make our way into the passenger compartment, start up the vehicle, let it run for approximately 15 seconds and turn it off. Now once you've shut off the vehicle, let it sit for a little while. We want to allow all the oil that made its way up into the top of the engine to make its way back down to the oil pan. After that, you can come right over here to the engine oil dipstick. We'll grab onto this, give it a little twist, and lift it up and out of here. Once it's out, go ahead and give it a quick wipe. Now with that out of there, I want you to pay attention to this area. You can see that there's hatched lines. That's the chart that lets you know exactly how full the oil is. You want to be someplace inside the hatched area preferably at the top area. Now let's go ahead and take this oil dipstick, put it back in, let it sit, pull it back out, and double check that oil level. Now as you can tell, I'm right up to the top of those hatches. It looks perfect. Go ahead and wipe that off and reinstall it. Okay friends, we showed you how to change the oil on your Lincoln Navigator. At this point, you want to go ahead and start up the vehicle one more time, double check to make sure you have no leaks, and then take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.